right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a video I'm going to do since I'm out this way. I'm on Charleston and Nellis. This is segment is going to be called how the coronavirus is uh, affecting uh, Walmart hours. So I'm over here in the shopping center. OK, uh, here's uh, Walmart. OK, and I believe they close like eight o'clock. So as you can see, there's nobody here in this parking lot right now. It's 840 p.m. So I guess they close early so they can be able to restock. They're doing the same, I assume, at the other stores. I know for a fact the one on Craig and uh, Scott Robinson, okay, in North Vegas, they are closing uh, their do doors early so they can be able to restock. Along with the Walmart, they have uh, several other stores over this way. They have uh, a chain of restaurants, i.e. Denny's. Canes, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and a few others. It's a Pet Smart, okay. Uh, we have Sally, okay. That's uh, for beauty supply. Uh, Chipotle, uh, and a 99 cent store are the main stores. And there's also a Ross. And Ross has been closed for at least two weeks, okay. So many people that need like garments and clothes are just gonna have to get them online. But here's a 99 cent store, okay? And I was going in there to try to get uh, like a snack or something. And uh, they have done, pretty much con commenced the same action. And uh, they close their doors at eight o'clock and there's nobody in this parking lot, okay? I'm over here at the parking lot with the 99 cent store right now as we speak. Okay. And in fact, looks like there's a security guard over here. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you're in front of the 99 cent store right now. Okay. And since we're here, we can get a glimpse of uh, the 99 cent store. Okay. If there's nobody here, okay, you can see the guy in there cleaning up. So we're going to go on and leave, okay, because uh, we're going to get approached here. So just check out another spot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just had to get a glimpse of this, though. I couldn't help but to uh, make a little clip I'm over at the Walmart on Stewart and Nellis yeah I'm back uh, I got interrupted for a lift ride I'm on Stewart and Nellis right now and I couldn't help but to show here this line here at Walmart so I guess they formulate how many people have to uh, come in Walmart by uh, six feet. Maybe yeah, I'm thinking they do a divided by how many square feet the Walmart is, and that's how many people they allow. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they're doing a head count, and this is wrapped all the way around the building. So there's probably about 40, 50 people in line, and I heard they've been doing this for uh, safety reasons. Okay, well let's see if I, I'm gonna see if I can catch this, this at another store. All right, I'm over here at the Target at Charleston and Nellis, okay? And uh, it's the same thing here. They had a line, but it went away. But yeah, they had like five people in line. I guess they went on to let them in. All right, but yeah, I guess they're doing these lines, ladies and gentlemen. And here's a guy that stands out, okay, that probably offers uh, hand sanitizer, okay? Uh, they've been doing that at some of the stores when I go to uh, I went to the 99 cent store this morning uh, they were doing that uh, so I guess social distancing and now it's in full effect uh, as of today so I'm going to see maybe I can visit one more place okay let's see if they're doing that at 99 cent store alright I'm at this 99 cent store ladies and gentlemen it's on uh, Martin Luther King and Craig Road in North Las Vegas. 
and it's uh, 820 for, and the store is normally packed to about nine. This is one of the stores that has to close early for stocking and this uh, the disinfectant, uh, uh, the extra efforts in that. And it's pretty much empty. Uh, like I say, it's normally packed until nine o'clock. So this is some of the effects that coronavirus has caused, okay? Also, while I'm over here, we can drive to uh, Home Depot. Now, this place is open till about 10. And as you can see, there's nobody at uh, Home Depot. And so it's a popular store. A lot of people go here to go buy uh, the uh, wood or any type of hardware they need. And boom, there's uh, nobody in the parking lot, probably other than the employees working. So I was trying to go to Walmart, but it's, it's late and Walmart closes at 8.30. I was able to get a Walmart. You could take a look at that segment. Uh, this uh, The clip of this segment, uh, the early, if you hadn't already seen it, okay, the one on Stewart and Nellis. You have a general idea of how most of these Walmarts uh, are operating now. So, there you have it. <clears throat> I think I'm, while well, it's on my mind, I'm going to do a segment. Just to end this segment, I have to go pick up someone on a ride. That's why the video clip was interrupted. Um, I think I'm going to end this segment by saying that I think I'm going to do a special clip or a special segment, rather on how coronavirus affected these restaurants. And I'm not talking about McDonald's and Pizza Hut. I'm talking about the higher quality ones like the Red Lobster or Red Robin or BJ's, those type of restaurants. And uh, that's going to take a little time. But I'm going to get that done probably within the next week. And also look for special on Boulder Highway, okay, a Boulder City, and um, Hoover Dam. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this video interesting, like and subscribe.